Hey, welcome back. It's Friday and I'm in the band practice rooms because I'm doing IAs. I'm recording students analyzing poetry and it's pretty fantastic because they're doing a great job. Uh, but it's the only few minutes I've been able to cram together to video a, a Poetry Friday for YouTube. So let's go ahead and do this real quick before I have to do my next IA. So, the poem that I'm going to read for us today is called After a Greek Proverb, and it's by A.E. Stallings. We're here for the time being, I answer to the query. Just for a couple of years, we said, a dozen years back. Nothing is more permanent than temporary. We dine sitting on folding chairs. They were cheap but cheery. We've taped the broken window pane. TV's still out of whack. We're here for the time being. I answer to the query. When we crossed the water, we only brought what we could carry, but there were always boxes that you never do unpack. Nothing is more permanent than the temporary. Sometimes when I'm feeling weepy, you propose a theory. Nostalgia and tear gas have the same acrid smack. We're here for the time being, I answer to the query. We stash bones in the closet when we don't have time to bury. Stuff receipts in envelopes, file papers in a stack. Nothing is more permanent than the temporary. Twelve years now and we're still eating off the ordinary. We left our wedding china behind, afraid that it might crack. We're here for the time being, we answer to the query. But nothing is more permanent than the temporary. That's a pretty delightful little poem. It's about change and time and aging, but it's also about how things seem to stick to you. It's always the things that are temporary and unimportant that seem to just linger and stay around. Anyway, I hope you have a great Friday, and I'm going to get back to students analyzing poetry. It's great fun. Um, congratulations to all my students who have already done their IAs over Ted Hughes and Sylvia Plath. You're doing awesome, and I can't wait to hear the rest of them. I will see you as you come in and record your IAs. Hey, one more thing. I almost forgot to mention this poem has a really cool structure. Did you notice how it repeats two lines over and over again in a very specific pattern? This is called a villanelle. It's a really fun kind of poetry to write and to read. You should check it out and see if you can find some more. The most famous, probably, that I know of is Do Not Go Gently Into That Good Night by Dylan Thomas. Definitely check that one out. And this cracked mirror thing? Maybe it's a metaphor for something. I'm not really sure what. Uh, uh...